my students and welcome back so today we are going to deal with another new topic that is for feature or shapes so what is for feature the simple meaning of for feature is cancellation so for feature of shares means cancellation of ownership of shareholders is generally termed as for feature of shares okay i'm repeating it for feature of shares means cancellation of ownership of shareholders is termed as for feature of shares and how this for feature happens is if the shareholder fails to follow the conditions which are laid down by the company when buying the shares that is on buying the shares a certain conditions will be laid down by the company and if the shareholder fails to fulfill the conditions which is laid down by the company then the company may cancel the ownership of the shareholders and this cancellation is generally termed as for feature of shares okay and coming to the conditions for for feature that is if a company wants to go for for feature of shares it has to fulfill certain conditions what are those is the first one is for feature of shares must be authorized in the articles that is the articles of association should clearly state that a company can go for for feature if the shareholders will not pay the unpaid amount of calls due this for feature should be clearly mentioned in articles only then the company can go for for feature and the second condition is notice of for feature should be sent to members that is if a company is going for for feature it should send the notice of for feature to the defrauding members that is those people who have to pay the unpaid calls due then that member should be sent a notice of for feature and this notice should mention that they have to pay the unpaid amount on shares as early as possible if they fail to pay their shares will be forfeited it should also be mentioned in the notice and the third one is resolution of board once after sending notice to the members if the members fail to pay the unpaid amount on shares then a resolution has to be passed only then for feature can be actually implemented by the company okay without resolution your for feature is generally invalid and coming to the fourth condition good faith the for feature should be carried on by the directors and it should be carried on only for the benefit of the company so these are the four conditions which the company has to fulfill and coming to the effect of for feature once a for feature takes place what is the effect the first effect is cessation of membership that is the members membership in a company comes to an end due to for feature okay cessation of membership means the members membership will end due to for feature and the second one is cessation of liability that is the members or the shareholders liability on a company will come to an end due to for feature that is because through for feature the shares are taken back by the company and the company can get its all liabilities cleared through for feature and the third one is forfeited shares become the property of company once the shares are forfeited it will be called as the properties of the company the company can reissue or redispose the shares which it has forfeited this is about effect so now coming to the difference between for feature of shares and surrender of shares so as we have already discussed for feature means cancellation of ownership of shareholder is termed as for feature of shares surrender of shares means when the shares are voluntarily given by the shareholder to the company it is termed as surrender of shares so let us know the difference between for feature as well as surrender so coming to the first difference for feature of shares is compulsory action taken by the company so here for feature is generally a compulsory action which a company takes in order to get its unpaid amount of calls paid clear and coming to surrender surrender is generally a voluntary action which is taken by the shareholder in order to prevent for feature 
or to exchange his old shares for new shares. Clear? So, surrender is a voluntary action which is taken by the shareholder to prevent for future or to buy any new shares. And the second point of difference is company takes the initiative. That is, for future is generally taken by the company. Whereas, surrender, shareholder takes the initiative. It is done by the shareholder. And the third one is for feature of shares is generally a complicated procedure. It is not an easy procedure. You have much of documents to make it ready for, for feature. Whereas surrender of shares is an easy procedure. You don't have much complications in Rwanda. And the last one is for feature of shares can be done only for partly paid shares. That is those shares whose call amount is undue. Only for that shares you have for feature. For fully paid shares, you will not have any calls on you, isn't it? So, for feature is only valid for partly paid shares. Whereas, surrender of shares is done by the shareholders for either partly paid shares or fully paid shares. This is about for feature of shares. Thank you.